Hello everyone, my name is Analytical Plum and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I thought that we would continue our spooky October reactions by reacting to Beetlejuice. Now this is the original one, not the one that has come out this year because I'd have to buy that and I don't have the money to buy movies so you're just gonna have to suffer with the first one unfortunately. Or maybe not unfortunately, maybe the new one's rubbish. I don't know, I haven't seen it. But before we begin watching Beetlejuice I would love if you would consider subscribing I do post twice a week but don't hold me to that and if you do love my reaction videos and you also love Beetlejuice I would love if you would leave a like it does help me out a ton and without further ado let's dive into watching this movie <laughs> Oh, I hate spiders. Has it gone? Oh, that's a big fella. Oh, don't make it move. Flick it out. If it can't fly, you know, it's survival of the fittest. If it can't grow wings, that sounds like a spider problem. Happy vacation, honey. Manchurian tongue oil. There's enough here to do the whole table and the bureau. Nah. I wonder what this should be. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like big tube of Jaffa Cakes you get at Christmas. And if you don't know what Jaffa Cakes are, they are delish. It's basically chocolate in a bit of sponge. No, on top of a bit of sponge. Orange jelly in the middle. It sounds really... Ugh, but honestly, it tastes better than it sounds. Thank you. There's enough there to do the entire guest room. I'm so glad we're spending our vacation at home. I'm gonna get started right away. Hey, where are you going? Wow! What was that wallpaper then? I'll get it. Be my guest. I'll just get the... <laughs> Maybe you should get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should get a refund on that present as well while you're there. I'm glad I caught you. Heard you're on vacation. That's right, Jane. Today I'm two hundred sixty thousand no, dollars. Six forty-five in the morning. This offer is real from a man in New York City who only saw a photograph. You should just say it's six forty-five in the morning, and they're all up, and they're all happy. Oh, do they guzzle down like 10 gallons of coffee or something? What? <laughs> How do they all have this much energy? It's 6.5. This house is too big for you. It really ought to be for a couple with a family, you know? Oh, Pumpkin, I didn't mean anything. It's just that really this house Jane, is too big. I'll see you in a few weeks, okay? Okay. Can you try and get a refund on her as well? I think you'll need it. <laughs> Woo! I was just telling Barbara about this offer on the house. No, Jane. Um, at this point, get a bleating restraining order. Two weeks at home, perfect vacation. Jane says we should sell the house to someone with a family. Well, I don't think that it's any of Jane's business. 100% facts. <laughs> hey, it's not her property, so she does not have any say, and they can do whatever it is they want because it's theirs. Besides, we could try again on this vacation, you know? Oh, really? What are you saying? <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Oh, mind the dog. You need a, a haircut for your vacation? Oh, thanks, Bill. How's the model coming? Oh, it's great. You know, you said Bosman built that foundation in 1835. Glad to see that not many things have changed. When I worked in retail, right, it was so awkward because I was on and off the cashier and so many older people would just start telling me their life story and I was waiting for the next customer to come in and they just kept going on and on and on. I didn't have the heart to tell them that I just, I need them to leave. <laughs> he got hair right down to his goddamn shoulders. He says to me, just, just trim it a little. So I says, See you so later, fast. Oh, I feel kind of bad for him. Oh, mind the dog again. Hey, look out for that <laughs> Dog's totally suicidal. This just confirms it. <laughs> that goddamn dog. You know what? Maybe they should have run it over. Perfect start to our vacation. Oh, you'll feel better when you're dry, honey. That fire wasn't burning when we left. How's your arm? I don't know. It feels frozen. You could try and warm up by the fire. I don't know. <laughs> I'll make some coffee and you get some wood for the fire. Well, maybe we should just take things extra slow. Yeah. You know, I don't think you need any more coffee. I'm gonna go back down to the bridge and retrace our steps. You've been transported to Mario 64. What is going on? I have to show you something. 
And there's that. Well, that will cement it for you. I don't know where it came from. Look at that publisher. Handbook for the recently deceased press. I don't think we survived the crash. Do you know what? I'm surprised they're not freaking out as much about the whole worm in their front garden. <laughs> They've been quite chill about that. Can you give me the basics? What do you want to know? Why did you disappear when you stepped off the porch? How long is this going to last? I don't see anything about heaven or hell. Th this book reads like stereo instructions. I'm a bit too uh, young to get that. <laughs> Sorry to anyone out there for making you feel old. <laughs> Listen to this. Geographical and temporal perimeters. Functional perimeters vary from manifestation to manifestation. Yep, all gibberish. Oh, this is my favorite little psychopath. Ooh la la, what do we got here? The make ones, huh? Look nice and stupid, too. <laughs> can't clean anything properly. The vacuum's out in the garage and we can't leave the house. I mean, where are all the other dead people in the world? Hey, well, they really wanted a vacation. They've just got a permanent one. You know, you just be careful what you wish for, I guess. In the book, rule number two, the living usually won't see the dead. Won't or can't? It just says won't. God, this book is so stupid. I can't understand anything in there. Hey, apparently uh, babies can. So that's just age discrimination. You can't leave them out. Give them the credit. Conspiracy theory, right? What if Jane set the dog there on purpose to off them so she can sell the house? Because she seemed really desperate for them to move somewhere else and to occupy those big spaces that she kept going on about. Oh, this is great. It's just what the doctor ordered. Oh, hi. Come in. Destroy the place, why don't you? It's okay. There's no damage. Look, see? It's okay. Good, sturdy country craftsmanship. And look at that kitchen. You're finally going to be able to cook a decent meal. The audacity. Careful you don't get bloody Sweeney Todd. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's me. I could live here. Careful, that's my sculpture. And I don't mean mine and I bought it, I mean I made it. It's my sculpture. Maybe you could throw that out the window along with that other spider. Maybe it did grow wings in the end. It seemed to survive. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't know how to sign that up. <laughs> You're lucky the yuppies are buying condos so you can afford what I'm going to have to do to this place. I'm here to relax and clip coupons. Damn it, I mean to do it. Then go do it quietly, dear, and let off when I think. Is this a punishment or something? I would say it seems like it. Everyone just seems so desperate for a bit of peace and quiet. But at this place, there's just so much chaos. There should be a caution to this area. What are you gonna do? We're not completely helpless, Barbara. I've been reading that book and there's a word for people in our situation. Ghosts. There we go. You ain't seen like 20 million paranormal movies for nothing. <laughs> you read my mind. So few clients are able to read my mind. They're just not open to the experience. Experience or delusions? <laughs> We just have to pray the other closets are bigger than this one. Ooh, look. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened to these people? They died. Oh, look, an indoor outhouse. Should I what? At this point, I would go along with the blowtorch idea. If it means they're not there, I would sign a petition for that. I will live with you in this hellhole, but I must express myself. If you don't let me gut out this house and make it my own, I will go insane and I will take you with me! Okay, calm down. Maybe you should have a frolic in the fields with the cows. That'll be quite calming, I think. I don't know, I don't think anything could calm her down. I have a feeling there's something very interesting behind this door. Yeah, ghosts of the people who died in this house. How does she know? <laughs> Surely they would have seen that. Are they that delusional? Are they that stuck in their heads? I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Maybe their creative juices are just flowing and they've just got the rainbows going on behind their eyelids. What's the good of being a ghost if you can't frighten people away? Honey. No, I'm not putting up with this. Barbara, you don't know what's out there. Here. <laughs> The space worms again. Oh, help! Barbara! Help! I'm getting all yellow! Oh, no. 
You all right? You look like you need a Snickers. Do you know what? I would equally be annoyed if I was a ghost. You have to put up with people in your own space, well, what once was your space, and get attacked by space worms. Is there no session one up here? Plan to have a stroke from the amount of MSG that's in this food. We'll build you a dark room in the basement, okay? My whole life is a dark room. So you were miserable in New York City, and now you're going to be miserable out here in the sticks. Oh, isn't this a fun family dynamic? <laughs> Do you know what? What's going on with the creative team, with the writers that go along with Tim Burton? Because there's always a depressed, basically, emo child. <laughs> you know, we could become the Summer Art Center of New York. That's a very good idea. That'll be um, very time-consuming. Furniture truck is coming. We're going to have to decide what goes and what stays. Everything goes, along with whatever's in the attic. You're not even going to give it a look? That whole massive thing. I, how would you describe it? It kind of reminds me of the Lego basement in the Lego movie, but with just, I don't know what to call it, modelling. You're just going to get rid of all of that? Tell me what you do, I'll tell you why my husband will fire you. Is there an index or something? Oh, nothing. It's this. This is like when the new homeowners start painting everything beige. <laughs> the bio exorcist, troubled by the living, is that the problem and not the solution? Unhappy with eternity, having difficulty adjusting? Call Betelgeuse. Straight back. Why is that there? The way the furniture is in the house, it looks like the wonky house. I can't remember the place of the uh, the roller coaster place. I say roller coaster, I think there's only like two there, but there's a wonky house there. But that's exactly what it looks like. Poor dude just wants to relax. He's got construction up to his neck. Put that down! What the hell are you doing out there? You know what? They deserve to be fired after that. Bleating hell. Messing up the property and almost killing someone. Surely that's a lawsuit. Oh. Hi, how are you? <laughs> they licked it when they saw Jan come in. <laughs> Jan or Jane? I don't know. What happened to the people who used to live here? They drowned. They were family. I was devastated. Here. That's a skeleton key. That key will open any door in the house. Oh, don't give that to her mum. Jesus. Pretend it don't exist. House would end up looking like a car showroom if you give it to her. Give that to your father. And you might mention that I single-handedly decorated that house in case you need any advice in that arena. I think her mum would send you running. Probably arrested for that. Don't worry, I locked the door. <laughs> he knows his timing. <laughs> I'll scare him real bad. The point is, folks, I'm gonna do anything to get your business. Hell, I'll possess myself if I gotta. Whoa! Yo, I got demons running all through me. I'm not sure that's somebody you should trust. I don't think he can even look after himself and his own demons. <laughs> Come on down here and see it, Jack. Now, you get a free demon possession with every exorcism. <laughs> ah! So, say it once, say it twice, third time the charm. She on a dog! Oh! Well, that was a. Certainly an advert. <laughs> you know what? I'm intrigued. I would call him. Or I suppose say his name. Do you think he has attention issues? And that's why he makes people say his name a lot to get the attention. <laughs> I need some help. I read something in this book this morning. In case of emergency, draw a door. Draw a door? I don't know why we keep looking in that stupid book. Do you know what? If that was me, I would just draw it on a bit of paper. I wouldn't think to draw it on, on the wall as if it's an actual door. So I don't think it would go very well for me. Hey, maybe we should try that beetle guy. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Better than Picasso. You didn't actually think that was going to work, did you? Aha! Knock three times. Hey, he saw that. Breath. If I be drawn a door, does this need to become a new athletic sport or something? Oh, well, there you go. And that will take you straight to Diagon Alley.
he seems like such a sweet guy. I don't know how he's ended up with his partner. Dad! Gee, what is the point of my coming up here if you people won't let me relax? Go help your mother. Maybe you can relax in a haunted house, but I can't. And also, I don't think any amount of help would truly help her. <laughs> she needs more than just her daughter. It's like they're going into the stupid death's room in Horrible Histories. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll ever want to eat chicken again. You spend 125 years on Earth actually in that house during which you get only three Class 1D90 intercessions with Juno. You probably haven't even read through the manual completely yet. Do you know what? That actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> Can that come with cookies too? Or is it asking too much? You'll have to wait if you don't have an appointment. An appointment with who? For Juno, your caseworker. Number 54,601. That's a big old queue. Maybe they should have uh, brought that dog with them and they could have been their little guard dog. You know, the ones that ended up offing them. <laughs> and then they would have had a little companion. What beautiful eyes you have. <laughs> is this what happens when you die? This is what happens when you die. It's all very personal. Oh. How do you two take the handbook and go to the sixth door? We forgot our handbook. Come on. Do you think they're only allowed to use the clothes that they died in? Because <laughs> if they can change, it'd have to pay a hefty amount just to get these clothes customized to fit him. <laughs> Weirder and weirder. Oh, there's all of our sculptures in the back. We're home. All our furniture's gone. How long do you suppose we were waiting there? Three months. I'd almost given up on you. I was about to leave. You know, that's dedication waiting for them for three months. Give her a tip. I evaluate individual cases and determine if help is needed and available. Are you available? No. Fair enough. We're very unhappy. What did you expect? You're dead. <laughs> probably wouldn't mind sharing the house with people who were more like you used to be. You know what, though? Watching this now, I would just kind of say, you got to get over it, love. <laughs> it's just like, I understand, right? That's their home. But they can't do much now because they're dead. So what are you, you going to do? Just have it forever abandoned. And then it's going to be derelict to break down. I feel like that's worse. I don't quite get it. I heard. It obviously doesn't do any good to pull your heads off in front of people if they can't see you. That's true. Do what you know. Use your talents. Practice. You should have been studying those lessons since day one. Hey, at least his thing is still there. I would have thought that's the first thing they would have thrown away. But it does look smaller. Maybe she did go through with selling half of it. I feel like it'd be worth a lot. What about that guy in the flyer, you know, Beetle? You don't want his help. Well, we might. He was my assistant. But he was a troublemaker. Claimed he could get rid of the living. At least she's saying it because so many people will be like, just don't do it because I said so. And they won't grasp the full extent of the warning. Because it just sounds like they're just being silly, doesn't it? But if you actually explain the issue, then they're more likely to do what you ask. But I strongly suggest that you remove the pizzas yourselves. Well, how do we contact you if we need you again? Oh, there's your answer. And there goes my voice, apparently. That guy's in our cemetery. She's right, honey. We just have to keep this simple. We can do this. Come on. Is he a bee or something? You. Hey, come here. Hungry? No, don't do it. I got something good for you. Come on. I have a little pipe. I have something to nosh. Come here. Help me. Help me. It's just like Emperor's New Groove all over again. Uh, Dad's found a way of making some money while I relax, so would you scram? Your mother's gonna kill you when she sees you cut holes in her $300 sheets. 300 
hundred? You know what, they deserve holes for that price. Bleating hell. Also, is he not questioning why she's suddenly grown like five feet? <laughs> is this what we've been reduced to, Sheets? Think of them as death shrouds. A moaning is important. Really moan. Woo! God, how can you stand that woman? Oh. No. no, to be fair, if ghosts tried to haunt me and they were moaning like that, I would fully laugh at them, especially just covered in bed sheets. I feel so stupid. It's not stupid, Barbara. Do you want to spend the next 125 years having breakfast with this woman? Moan louder. Oh, oh God. I think they're the worst ghosts in existence. Did they even finish reading the handbook? Are you the guys hiding out in the attic? We're ghosts. What do you look like under there? Aren't you scared? I'm not scared of sheets. Are you gross under there? That's what I was saying. She seems a bit too relaxed, honestly, considering she said she couldn't chill knowing that the house was haunted. I'd, I'm a bit surprised by her lack of reaction. You know, if I had seen a ghost at your age, I would have been scared out of my wits. You're not gross. Why are you wearing sheets? We're practicing. Yeah, maybe if you didn't look alive, it would have been scary. Like, if I would have had that flattened pancake with the custom clothes from earlier come through the door, I'd be more scared of that. <laughs> Why do you want to scare everybody? Well, we wanted to frighten you so you would move out. Huh. <sighs> you don't know the deets is very well. My father bought this place. He never walks away from equity. And to be fair, if it's anything like what's her face from American Horror Story, it would just make them want to stay more sometimes. I don't know, if this was in real life, you'd get YouTubers keep coming by to try and antagonise them. <laughs> They'll try and film like sleepovers, 48 hour challenges and stuff. Why don't you leave? We can't. We haven't left the house since the funeral. Well, technically you tried to, and then almost got eaten by worms. <laughs> I don't think it's a very good idea to tell your parents that we're up here. Not unless you think it'll frighten them away. What if this is a dream? Can you guys do any tricks to prove I'm not dreaming? You could do the face thing again. That bag is the most useless thing I've ever seen. You're telling me we have ghosts in this house. Lydia, I am giving a dinner party tonight for seven people. I told them you're too mean to be afraid. The only thing that scares me is being embarrassed in front of the few hip people I can get to set foot in this part of Connecticut. If I was her, right? I would work with the bleating ghost to try and scare her in a way, but she would never want to be there again. Lydia's trying, but they don't believe her. She's got photos, Barbara. Adam, you had a photo of Bigfoot. That don't be much now either. You could literally manipulate anything. These guys would absolutely be shocked by the amount of digitally edited videos. And here we've got to get some help here. We've got to contact this guy, Beetlemeyer or something. Adam. Look. I would take that as a warning flash. Beetlejuice. What happened? I think we're in the model. Hey, look at that. Hey, you can admire your work up close. See, they were moaning so much about giving up their house, they can just move into that house. It'll be fine, cozy. Surely you've added like miniature baths or something. I think you saw it there. Well, where is he? What do we do? Looks like we dig, Barbara. They're just so clueless. Even he has to give them hints. <laughs> Obvious hints, really. To be fair, I think Beetlejuice was right earlier in calling them idiots. <laughs> He's making him go for all this when he literally just stuck his fingers out earlier to get that the fly. Oh, it's about time. I say we open it. Maybe we should knock first. What an entrance. Let me ask you something. Is this relationship really solid? Do I have a shot at her at all? Excuse me. Sure. Am I overstepping my bounds? Just tell me. Come on. You two kids pick me. You didn't have to, but you picked me. Do you remember what I said earlier about how he's really desperate for attention? You must be lonely. I think this just proves my point. <laughs> he's going absolutely mad. You don't have to kill anybody. Ah, possession. God. Learn to throw your voice. Fool your friends. Fun and party. <gasps> 
We just want to get some people out of our house. Ah, in order to do that, I'm really going to have to get to know you guys. You know, we got to get closer. He was definitely deprived of attention as a child. Can you imagine? Little baby Beetlejuice. Do you think he'd still have the green frizzy hair? What are your qualifications? I attended Juilliard. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. I don't even know if I'm qualified to say that you're qualified. You seem to have a lot of life experiences, so I'd say yes. <laughs> Excuse us, please. Honey, but I think he could be of some no, useful no, later on. No, no, let's need to work something out of ourselves. We just have to talk. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Excuse me! What? Excuse me. We are leaving now. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um... I think this is why they do job interviews alongside seeing your qualifications. We've been to Saturn. Hey, I've been to Saturn. Sandworms. Come on, kids. What do I have to do to strike a deal with you two, huh? I suppose that's the proof of the qualifications of seeing Exorcist 100 and whatever times it was, wasn't it 60? I don't know. Where'd you go? Hey! You bunch of losers! You're working with a professional here! The portrait. See, we can do this stuff on our own. Barbara, we did call him and he seemed awfully pissed off. I don't care, I've changed my mind. I think we can scare them off ourselves. Yeah, to be fair, they gave up so quickly with trying to scare them themselves. Could they not just steal some of his tricks, try and practice that? If they can take off their face, surely they can rotate their own head 360 degrees. I think what you did with the place is wonderful. Stop. Um, <clears throat> Ugh. It looks like Little Shop of Horrors. Paranormal, is that what they're calling your kind these days? She's still upset because somebody dropped a house on her sister. I saw some ghosts. This is the worst dinner party I've ever seen. And I watched a scene with Shrek in Shrek 2. <laughs> I think that was better than this. Kim! Uh, you know, I love them. By ghosts? In designer sheets, no less. I'd like to propose a toast. I still don't get the designer sheets. What is the point? I don't know. I think that's one of the silliest things. Favor us about your ghosts. No, I am sick of that subject. Oh, dear, you lighten up. I would rather talk about... Yeah? Day! Day! It's turned into RuPaul, they're all just lip syncing for their lives. If I was one of them, I'd be scared that the food was drugged. <laughs> it's just like a drug trip gone wrong. <laughs> or maybe right, depending on uh, your state of mind. <laughs> all right, banana! <laughs> you shake those booties. <laughs> Now that was a scare. Maybe not the dancing bit, but the, you know, the prawn hands bit. <laughs> Any minute now. They're just like the YouTubers, aren't they? It was like being in an amusement park. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do the Calypso. Who <laughs> has more fun than us? Very sophisticated pair. I mean, they even appear in sheep. Is it only poor people who are scared of ghosts then? Is that the, the message that I'm getting from this? Why didn't you tell us about this before? Well, we're not even sure we want our little secret out. I mean, everyone's going to want them for their parties. <laughs> people will pay big money for this, right, Grace? They're trying to make money off of people in the afterlife. Even when you're dead, you're still forced to work. When will it end? They don't want to come down. They were trying to scare you away and you didn't get scared. Please, they're dead. It's a little late to be neurotic. This was not a hallucination. This was real. I told you. It was something about that food. Maybe those shrimps weren't cooked properly. I don't know. <laughs> you are a flake. You have always been a flake. If you insist on frightening people, do it with your sculpture. I don't really know what that insult means, but I really like flakes, although they're a bit messy. And considering she likes to make sculptures, maybe that does make sense, actually. Where do they hide out? The attic. The attic's locked. They're ghosts, Dad. They can do what they want. Lydia, you take us up there right now. Are you sure this is a good idea? So where are they? So you guys, these ghosts are really nice people. I think we scared them away, so let's just leave them alone, all right? Well, that's not how it should be. It should be the other way. They should be the ones scaring them away. I repeat what I said earlier. They are the worst ghosts in existence. <laughs> I have never been so embarrassed. They haven't gone for good, have they? Why 
Sorry, so can everyone see that book? We really got something here. We can turn this place into the world's leading supernatural research center. An amusement park. I'll make the presentation, Lydia will bring the ghosts. These people are ridiculous, mate. They're the type of people, do you know in the art museums, what was it when they taped a bit of banana peel to the wall? That's what they would do. I'm surprised they don't even already have it in their house. Why don't you just leave them alone? They didn't do anything to you. That's why you don't insult ghosts. I suppose if they really want to see the ghosts, they could become the ghosts if they're that desperate. Do you know what? I see now why the dad is with the other lady. They are perfect for each other. Why are you doing this? Leave me alone, all of you. Maybe they'll leave now. That snake was a pretty nasty customer. Could have hurt somebody. But he didn't. We got him right where we want him. What do you mean he didn't? He pushed someone down the stairs and dropped somebody over the banister. These people, I swear to God. The only one I think I can deal with is Edgar and Poe's daughter. You leave her alone, you... <laughs> Why will I keep mentioning about throwing things out the window? What were to happen if you were to grab him? By his hair and just fling him out the window would he go off to Saturn too to be fair maybe you wouldn't want to do that because he'll end up riding along with the worms to be fair he just became one so I mean I know it's a snake but it's not much of a difference there is there Hi. Hey Adam, I Adam why did you build that I didn't <laughs> At least it was air conditioned. Will you guys I shut up and leave me alone? I've got all this paperwork to do. You two, come in here. Sit down. Get in here. I was about to get a spanking. I received word that you allowed yourself to be photographed and you let Beetlejuice out and didn't put him back. Let Otho get hold of the handbook. Never trust the living. Maybe she should have a vacation, but not at that house because nobody gets any peace. Maybe this was all a bad idea. I didn't say anything. Oh, who are we kidding, Charles? You've never had a bad idea. Yeah? Yeah, this could all work out. I can name one. Getting with her. I mean, to be fair, he's as equally as bad, so... Uh. You've got to figure out a way to sell these ghosts. I can only do so much. What are you going to do, Otho? Viciously rearrange their environment? I know just as much about the supernatural as I do about interior design. So nothing. <laughs> By the time you read this, I will be gone. Having jumped. Oh, no. I suppose maybe if she's also in the afterlife, she can help stop Beetlejuice. But she might be stuck in the same place as the ghost she doesn't like, so I don't know if that's a good idea, actually. Maybe just move to Nebraska or something. That might be a better decision. What are you going to do? To scare them. I want to make sure it's not some silly parlor trick. Oh, the glasses are coming off. Must be good. Not bad, not bad. How do they know they can do this? Just they just fiddle around with their face one day, try and rearrange it like a jigsaw puzzle. Are you dead? Oh no. Dead. Are you a ghost too? I'm the ghost with the most, babe. You know, you look like somebody I can relate to. Really? I don't see too many similarities there. You gotta say my name three times. What's your name? Well, uh, I can't tell you. Why not? You know why? Because if I tell you, you tell your friends, your friends are calling me on the horn all the time. Uh-huh. Definitely deprived of attention. Creating all these delusions and fantasies is the first step to insanity. Two words. Right. Ah. Uh, Just turn. No. Turn around and look behind you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Beetle. And that's one way to do it. I'm pretty sure that's cheating though. Yes, that's it! Name's Beetlejuice. Ah, you said it twice. Just say it once more. Come on. It was you, wasn't it? The snake. No, oh, what snake, you kids, in your imagination? She's very smart. I've always quite admired that about her. She best forgive the other little ghost thieves now. Just say it! I want to talk to Barbara. No, you don't need... I don't think she really can talk to her back right now. Just... <laughs> Yes! No! No! Ah! Right. 
It's us. Told you she'd be more scared if they didn't look alive. He told me that if I let him out, he would take me to the other side to find you. Lydia, we're dead. I want to be dead, too. No. Listen to her on this, Lydia. This is something we know a lot about. I can't take you seriously right now. <laughs> this is a presentation. It requires a sense of occasion, a sense of style. It's so big. How are we going to get it out? Right, sectional. Get it both ends. Wait, 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 wait. Careful. OK, go. <laughs> See, and this is why the dad is equally as bad as everybody else. I thought he was sweet. No, he's also a douche. Are they here yet? Charles, we're here to see some ghosts. They're yeah. not here anymore. Oh. But we have these pictures, Lydia. They said they might come back and we could all live here if you agreed not to tease them or make them do stupid tricks. See? Because who wants to work in the afterlife? That's meant to be when you can chill the most, isn't it? <laughs> Are they still here, Otho? Oh, they're still here. They're just hiding out. Probably feel guilty about what they did to me. I'm gonna whip out a Ouija board in a minute. What am I worried about, Otho? You can't even change a tire. <laughs> I'll be needing something personal of theirs. You have to go to the Goodwill. Excuse me. Did they end up getting rid of everything of theirs in the end? Oh, no. The wedding clothes. Hands vermilion, start of fire, bright cotillion. Does he actually have any idea what he's doing? He sounds like the uh, the outro to Thriller. <laughs> oh. Rise asunder man's delight, our ghost, our corpse, and we rise to be. They just wanted to relax. Barbara? Stop it! As flies the lizard, Serpent fell as goblin wizard at the spell. So this is why they didn't want a living to know any of it because they just mess everything up and trying to monetize it as well. Oh, oh no, this is so sad. They're dying! No, 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 they're already dead. They can't feel a thing. That's not true. Look at them! Right, that's enough now. Can you stop this? Otho, it's too late, Charles. See, I didn't think he had any qualifications in the end. I can help him. You gotta help me. I want out for good. In order for me to do that, hey, I gotta get married. Hey, these aren't my rules. I need to get married to the beetle or the fly. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. He's got his nice suit on for the occasion. Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Well, I'm back. I feel real good about myself, you know what I mean? Step right up, test your strength. I would advise not to step right up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That is why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. Because you get rid of half the audience at your ceiling. You don't have anyone to watch your shows. <laughs> Everything seems to be pretty much back to normal, I think. Shall we? It is so bizarre why he wants to marry a child, though. We're gonna need witnesses, <laughs> would ya? At least they're making some use out of all these sculptures. <laughs> they were just sitting there collecting dust. <laughs> oh, look, she got a bit of a backrest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's get on the ceremony. Do you, Beetle? <laughs> Nobody says the B word. Come on. Do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? Is he always just on standby to do impromptu weddings? <laughs> I didn't know we were in Vegas. Do you, Lydia, take this man? No! The man next to me is the one I want. You ask me, I'm answering. Yes, I love that man of mine. <laughs> yeah, totally legit. Beetle just. Smalls Vegas. Beetlejuice! Only two more! Beetlejuice! You're right! The ring, please! The ring! Quick, while he's distracted, Lydia, say it! I'm telling you, honey, she meant nothing to me. Nothing at all! Now pronounce you! Yeah, yeah, come on! Man and... When I said he would ride the worm, I didn't realise it would be her riding the worm. Oh. Bye, 
my little dude. Thanks for trying. Did you get the paints? Yes, and I took pictures of the new town hall for you, too. How about the math test? You have got to be kidding me. We spent the whole week studying for that test. I got an A. They're like her adoptive parents. It's so sweet. <laughs> Thing reads like stereo instructions. Oh, sounds like that you got an A in the math test. He likes it. <laughs> you know, it's an improvement from the weird little shop of horrors plant. <laughs> Did you do that? It's very nice work. Let me ask you something. Yo, King! Looks like I'm next. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop it! Hey, you're messing up here! Whoa! He certainly did do it in the end, didn't he? Hey, this might be a good look for me. I agree, the best you've ever looked. Oh, it's such a classic. I love this. So that will be it from me today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. See, I'm quite surprised because I feel like Beetlejuice is in it a lot more than he actually is. I, I don't even think we first saw him until midway through the movie, which surprised me considering his name is this movie. But I think it works out pretty well, honestly. And I'm excited to see the second movie when that's going to be available on any streaming devices. <laughs> devices? Services. I don't know. I've just been reacting to this for like over an hour my brain is dead now <laughs> so thank you so so much for watching and i will see all of you in my next video